Welcome to the all new Sports Vision on Bounce TV and to our worldwide web viewers on www.sportsvisionsusa.com. Hello, everybody. I'm DJ Jones alongside my good friend and traveling partner, Dale Williams. How are you? What's up, player? Hey, man, I'm excited about what's coming up. We have an opportunity to tell a story that has been long overdue. Uh, the manager and CEO <laughs> and you know, everything you want to say of the, Atlanta, uh, the Columbus Black Crackers will be on the show. Hey, Eric Anthony, great show, man. Good guy. Absolutely. Going to have an opportunity to talk about the playoff run coming up. And this week, the Columbus Valley Area High School Female Athlete of the Year Awards. All that and more coming up next. It's time to save during the Nissan Year of the Truck and SUV event at Headquarter Nissan. Now, save $4,500 on new Rogue. Save $10,000 on all remaining 2016 Nissan Titan XDs. And get America's best truck warranty. Take on any job with Nissan trucks and SUVs from Headquarter Nissan. Yes, Columbus is a Nissan town. Now it's going to be a Titan town. $10,000 off 2016 Titan. Welcome back to Sports Visions, Dale. The NBA playoffs are in effect, and they start officially today. And uh, I know that there was a long shot there, and the Hawks were going through some struggles and some trials and tribulations. But lo and behold, they're in, man. They're in, DJ. I guess they heard my dog cussing <laughs> on them, man. They, 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 played, they really played the best basketball of the season this past weekend by beating the Cavaliers two games and the Boston Celtics. So they're really uh, – hopefully they're, they're going to play their way through the playoffs. Absolutely. And what was so impressive is that, of course – Three times out of four that they beat the world <laughs> champions, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, I know that LeBron and his basketball team has been going through some changes, but they still are the uh, reigning world champions. And, uh, again, they have to be beaten. And the Hawks have played well against them. They played very well against them. I mean, they 3-1 this whole year. So, if they do face the Cleveland Cavaliers, they'll have home court advantage, DJ. And that, that's big. But the bottom line is this right here. I mean, the, when they played them on that Friday night, uh, Tim Hardaway comes in off the bench. Their bench is playing much better, DJ. And then to come back from 26 points on the Sunday to beat the Cavaliers, that was special, but they did it because of the bench. So the bench is kind of jailing, DJ. You know, we were looking for uh, Mike Dunleavy. Oh, he's coming in making major minutes right now. But the Tim Hardaway piece coming off the bench, DJ, they've gotten a spark from their bench these last few games. And including that spark, I tell you, got healthy. Because, again, for the long, longest time, Paul Millsaps was going, had a, a, a significant knee problem. And then you talk about uh, they, they both suffer, say for Cephalosis. Cephalosis. Okay. Right. He, of course, had, was going through his ups and down, and uh, you know, just a, it was a, several of those guys. And then again, on top of that, we had the issues, and I don't know uh, if they've gotten straightened out, but it seemed to be pretty decent now that the relationship between Schroeder, Dennis Schroeder and Dwight mm -hmm. Howard. They were able uh, early on the season. That was some problems. Coach Bud had to get that straightened out. Hey, I think he's gotten that straightened out, DJ. But one good thing that I saw in these last few games that the Hawks played this season the competitive edge. The guys are coming off the bench. These guys want to play, so Coach Bud must have told these guys, hey, we don't have no starters. You come off the bench and you play like you want to start, you get more minutes. And I think really somebody pressed the button on these guys, DJ, because they're, they're actually the spark has come from their bench. And we always say, you know what, uh, the team that's playing the best basketball around playoff time that's is right. the best team uh, to, that would be favored. But, you know, adding to that, the fact that the Boston Celtics have had a tremendous season uh, led by Isaiah Thomas, the little guard, man. He just had a phenomenal season shooting the basketball and leading that offense. But, you know, they have the number one seed in the, uh, in, in the East. Well, you know, DJ, like I say, you know, as far as the playoffs concerned, you know, sometimes, you know, your one seed, you know, your one seed plays the eighth seed, but that doesn't necessarily mean when you start getting down to the two and the six and the three and the six, or the three and the seven, then you start to see like, wow, these, everybody's, it's hard to play in the playoffs because really no blood, no foul during the playoffs. There's no time for this uh, stupid stuff in the playoffs. But at the same time, this is the hardest time to play basketball when the NBA playoffs turns around. I'm going to tell you about a storyline coming down the pike here that I saw. It is a lot of bad officiating. And again, <laughs> some of the players have made statements. I know uh, that uh, LeBron was adamant uh, that uh, he didn't think he, it was a fair call again in that last game in particular with the, with the Hawks. But some guys have spoken out. Paul George has just said he didn't have any respect for the, uh, for the uh, officials anymore. So, you know what? These coaches, man, I, I think they need to go and resort to 
especially with the with the with the crunch calls. They got to go and look at that monitor. They got too much equipment over there for them to make a call that doesn't make sense. Well, you know, we always talk about the replays and you know the officiating on the games, whether we're playing in football, baseball, or basketball. You know, the the replay piece. You know, the big eye doesn't lie, and you're gonna have to get. You know, you want to make the right call, DJ. But you know, sometimes you know officials are human, man. Because I'm, I'm really, because I mean, nobody catches it more. When, when a NBA coach goes after an <laughs> NBA official and then the players are just as worse. And they don't do, – to me, you know, for as technical fouls, like they used to give technical right. fouls, man, these guys are saying stuff to officials right now, man. That I mean, they just didn't they – didn't, they didn't take that. But now they are and they're kind of, you know, kind of humble. But they're missing calls, DJ, and, you know, they're human. Quickly before we get out of here, let's just talk, go ahead and talk about some of the top people on the east – on the west coast. Well, you know, really, I'm looking forward to – the Houston Rockets against the OKC Thunder. I think DJ, you know that that right there with you know Hartman, you know uh, James Hart, mm -hmm, Harden mm -hmm. and uh, Russell Westbrook. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be big. I think those two teams are equal, DJ. They, you know Russell Westbrook gonna give you his hundred. You know, if the other players, his teammates turn up and play, they might be able to upset Houston. That's my biggest storyline. And you know, as far as you know. Um, there's some things that we probably hadn't even talked about, DJ, but the MVP piece, Russell Westbrook, just phenomenal. Give him the MVP, DJ. Congratulations, by the way, to Russell Westbrook. <laughs> he broke uh, Oscar Robinson's record, of course, 42, uh, three <laughs> double, tri oh, uh, triple doubles. That's big, DJ. Triple double, four, no, 42. He broke the record, and of course, with a couple of games left, but uh, it's his record now. He'll go down in history regardless of the MVP record, but I want to make this <laughs> note. When Oscar Robinson won the MVP, or at least when he won the triple-double crown back in 61-62 uh, season, he didn't win the MVP. He came in third behind Bill Russell and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Ooh-wee! <laughs> you know, but like I said, man, Russell Westbrook, and then to average a triple-double, 31, 12 assists, 11 rebounds for the whole year, that's huge. Come on, man. Get, we'll give him the Sports Vision MVP. All right, don't go anywhere. We got a special interview uh, that we want you to see. Don't want you to miss this. Coming up next. I'm back, swimming at the gym every week. Last month, I started playing tennis again. And four months ago, I went hiking for the first time. I struggled with knee pain for years. Just walking upstairs was difficult. But the St. Francis Orthopedic Institute was there, from surgery through physical therapy, helping me get back to doing the things I love. Thanks, St. Francis. I'm back in motion again. Truth be truth. The will to win will win. So intimidate your darkest fear. Revive every forgotten fantasy. Set goals you can never reach, then reach them. Count cards to fight beats that deck. And if you want to win as much as you want to live, you're ready to rain on. Hi, I'm Grace Carswell. I almost lost my life in a car accident due to someone else's negligence. Forrest B. Johnson and Associates held the insurance companies accountable and worked timelessly on my behalf to make sure I got the compensation I deserve. You can trust Forrest B. Johnson and Associates. Results you can bank on. Call Forrest B. Johnson and Associates right now. 706-223-5380. And welcome back to Sports Visions. We're joined today by the founder and the manager of the Georgia Black Crackers here in the East Alabama, West Central Georgia. This team is a travel ball coach, and this guy is one of the biggest travel ball names out there in this whole industry. We'd like to welcome Eric Anthony to the show. Thank you for coming, Eric. Thank you, Mr. Dale. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Well, you know, let's get right to it. And parents, if you got a kid that's playing Little League Baseball right now and, and want to go on and play major baseball, you might want to go get this kid. And parents, you might want to listen in to what Eric has to say today. Now, Eric, I want you to address to the parent out there in, the, in that uh, 11 year old, 12 year old kid, how important travel ball is in this whole region? Oh, it, it's extremely important. Simply because that's when the um, higher level fundamentals are developed for a kid. You can, um, the, the baseball field begins to spread out. 
And it, when the field spreads out, it makes all kids equal. So you have to have some kind of um, um, extracurricular or, or more developed fundamentals for the field and for the kid. Um, it was very essential as far as my team was concerned because when my kids transitioned from that 11, 12 year old area going to 13, 14 year old baseball, a lot of them started in high school baseball because of the fundamentals gained through travel ball. Okay. Well, you know, Eric, let's, let's get right to it because every time I mention this name, I always get a double take. The Georgia Black Crackers. I, and that's the name of your team. I want you to give the history of how you got that name, and I want you to give some, basically some Major League Baseball history behind it too, but explain the name, the Georgia Black Crackers. <laughs> okay. Um, we played Little League Baseball, as you mentioned, right. and um, our kids had really got too good for Little League. And so we um, began to travel on the circuit, and we beat some teams that were not supposed to be beaten especially by a team of a lot of African-American kids. And so um, they, the kids, some of the kids got, you know, so irritated by some of the stuff they were called. And so we didn't want to just be like the people. We wanted to be above them. So we researched the history of the old Negro Leagues. And I never knew it, Brodell, but mm -hmm. in Atlanta, Georgia, they had the Atlanta Black Crackers. They played at Ponce de Leon Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. Wow. And they shared that stadium with the team called the Atlanta Crackers. Okay. Okay. Now, when segregation ended, they had an inaugural World Series with Atlanta Crackers and the Atlanta Black Crackers played the first um, desegregated World Series right there at Ponce de Leon Stadium. The Atlanta Black Crackers went up three games to one and was winning that fourth and final deciding game when they burned the entire stadium down. <laughs> Oh, right. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So fittingly, well, you know, like I said, when, when you, they hear the name, but now they hear the name and they think in another direction. Because right. each year that I've known you, I mean, you're the only baseball coach that coached like a football coach. You're you right. coach every play. And that's pretty hard to do if you're playing baseball, to coach every play. But you do it. You do a great job with it. But tell me some of the success stories that you have already come about. Uh, with the Georgia Black Crackers and Rip playing travel ball here in this Columbus area? Okay, well, um, we're the only team that I can say right now that I know of that's um, primarily based out of Columbus, Georgia, that has been ranked in the perfect game top 50 for the last two years. Whoa. Okay. Um, perfect game is it was developed by Major League Baseball, you know, and so they only put the top tier teams in a ranking. They don't rank everybody. And so last year we was 33rd, and the year before we was 29th. So that, that speaks volumes to our kids that's in this area. Um, another thing is we've won three World Series. Um, we won the IBC World Series down in um, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Now that probably was the uh, toughest level of baseball we played down in South Florida. I mean, we got 13, 14-year-old kids playing 16, 17-year-old kids, and we won the World Series. Wow. You know, um, but there it go. It goes from the, the training and travel ball. It's, you set the standard this high, Brother Dale, mm -hmm. and if you don't reach it, but you make it this high, you're still better than the person that's right there. Okay. Okay. I, I, I can buy into that. Right. But, you know, Eric, you, you're being kind of modest, man, and, you know, I don't know you being modest. You know, you, <laughs> you, you mean you, you go after it. Talk to me about, you know, you got a son, Josh Anthony, mm -hmm. the history of Josh and what, what he's done to this point now. You got, you got Dorsey <laughs> kids. You got Sam. You've had these kids ever since they were little guys, and you coach hard. <laughs> now, parents, if you, don't, you, you, you want your kid to be good and you send him to this guy, he's going to coach them hard. We, we have um, 61 kids that's on a, a baseball scholarship right now. Wow. Um, 61. Um, additionally, I thought it was 51 when I went in and I did the math. There's 61 kids. Um, we got some, you know, um, Caucasians. We got some African Americans. So we're a very diverse team, okay? Uh, and um, when the kids come over to our program, the first thing I tell the mamas, I say, <laughs> if you don't want your little apple dumpling yelled at, you might want to leave, okay? Because that's, you got to have something to get their attention, okay? Um, from that aspect, we got 61 kids. We got two people that were drafted, Justin Ellison, 
um, who's playing with the Atlanta Braves organization right now, and my son Joshua Anthony, who um, they are he, the Braves drafted him, and then they offered the amount of money, and then they came back and said that it's to have the money to give. <laughs> so we chose to go to Auburn. Okay. Right. Um, we got um, we got nine perfect game All Americans that played in our organization. Nine. Um, we get a lot of help from this guy named Rock Lee. Uh, I don't know if you know him Speaking or not. I know him, know him very well. Right. Rock Lee um, and Chad Davison. Okay. These guys are very instrumental in what we're doing. Now, we do have other coaches that have been involved, but I'm just talking about right now. Um, with, the, with the kids that we have that's in college, um, we got four or five that's all Americans right now. That's good. Right. Well, you know, like, like you said, you know, you, uh, I know your history. Um, and I know one thing in working with Major League Baseball and the RBI program, it comes down to being expensive. Speak to me about the expense and how you go around not having to worry about the expense and just look at the, the heart of the little player. Talk to me about that piece. As a coach, if I want to get rich off baseball, I could. Okay. Um, baseball don't have to be as expensive as people make it, all right? If, if a coach truly wants to make a difference in the life of a kid, then the cost is not a factor. For the way we do business, Brother Dale, is we take all our kids with the number of tournaments that we have, and we divide that price evenly. Wow. Me and my coaches, we don't make any money at, at all. We do this because we want to make a difference in the life of a kid like somebody did for me. Man, when I came up, we had a three-room house and we used a bathroom outside, mm. okay? I had this guy from Lee County named Rob Williams. He's still there right now. Older white guy would pick me up, take me to practice, and bring me home, something that coaches could not do. And it was time to pay. My parents couldn't pay. That man reached in his pocket, and he paid my way. Now, listen, it's reciprocation. Somebody did it for me. I'm going to do it for somebody else. And I hope those kids, when they make it, they could do it for somebody else. Baseball is not expensive if a coach truly cares about the kid. Well, there you have it. Eric Anthony, founder manager of the Georgia Black Crackers. We'll be right back. Attention Columbus, Fort Benning, Phoenix City, and the surrounding areas. Sports Visions Entertainment presents the Party Bus Lifestyle. Take a trip with us. Don't worry about driving. 15, 25, 30 of your sorority sisters, fraternity brothers, family, or friends. Get to travel in luxurious lifestyle in town or out of town visits. Come travel with us and experience the exclusive luxury party bus lifestyle. Call 706-681-1136 or 706-681-5192. It's a very simple procedure, Mr. Diaz. We're just going to make one small incision here. Then we're going to go in and remove your 67 Corvette. My bet. Yeah. It's just a gallbladder. You don't have... I black paying you cash, so you might have to sell that sweet little muscle machine just to cover your rent. More funny juice. But my papa gave me that oh. <laughs> What do you wish you had? Ah, flock. <laughs> I love doing that. Health can change, but the life you love doesn't have to. Keep your lifestyle healthy with Ah, flock. Today, my dad walked me down the aisle. It seems like yesterday when he taught me how to drive. And just a few years later, he took me to college. But I remember the day my dad had a heart attack, and that almost changed everything. He needed open heart surgery. Lucky for us, we had the amazing doctors at the St. Francis Heart Hospital on our side. Because of their excellent care, he's here with me today. Thank you, St. Francis. And welcome back to Sports Vision Deal. I'll tell you what, uh, man, you know, last year we started something that we have become really proud of. It's our second annual Female Athlete of the Year Awards uh, luncheon. And it's this week, and we've had a tremendous response. Not 
as big as we would like, but at least we know that we're covering ground and we're doing something that needs to be done. Well, you know, DJ, it feels good, and, you know, as a part of our mission statement, we wanted to definitely continue to empower these female athletes around this whole area, and that's what we're doing, DJ. I mean, go, what, we go from Chatco all the way up to Greenville, Georgia. I mean, we're going to be honoring all these girls that are in this area, and I'm really looking at all their profiles, DJ, to see – uh, girls playing three and four sports, even cheering, even in the ROTC. I mean, it has been big to see these these girls being that involved and still have GPAs. That That's amazing. Over 40 of the top female athletes, high school athletes in East Alabama, West Central Georgia will be right here at the Hilton Garden Inn on Thursday. Uh, the 20th of this month, and again, that's an 11:30 deal. And Dale, I tell you what, uh, the fascination that I get is that the parents call in and want to know can they come. And of course, you know it's hard for us to turn them away, but those that do uh, can have the opportunity to come out and support their kids. We can't, we can't say no. No, we can't say no, DJ. And like you said the other day, we're just a, a victim of our own success. The program is good, been needed, and you know, really, uh, we just try to go a little up, you know, just up the high school that don't have the budget to do it. Thanks to our corporate sponsors around here, we're able to do these kind of things. But really, it's a lot, it's a lot of girls around here that are doing great things to be proud, very Absolutely. proud of. Absolutely. And, you know, obviously, as you mentioned, the multiple uh, extracurricular activities in addition to the sports they play, those GPAs were most impressive. When we read in these bios and we see in these young ladies, you know, used to think that 3.5 was special. Yeah. But we got so many girls that are 4.0 or better. Yeah. I mean, it's almost like, golly, man. I mean, yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. crazy. It's crazy, man. You think the short bus come and get you, man. These <laughs> girls are just smart. Smart, man, and yes. I mean really, uh, they got, you know, do great things in the community, and don't forget that community piece that they do, I mean, from volunteering, and I'm just talking about babysitting, I'm talking about everything from, you know, tutoring to reading, helping kids read, they, they are doing a great job, Muskogee County has a lot to be uh, proud of with their women, sports and their athletes, along with Troop County, uh, Manchester, and the whole area. They're doing a lot of big things, these ladies are, DJ, with these programs. A couple of special guests that I want to give you a heads up on. First and foremost, we're excited to have uh, the great Division II Coach of the Year, Anita Howard from Columbus State University. She'll be our guest speaker. But we also have a uh, former uh, Carver High School All-American by way of Ohio State, as well as the University of Tennessee track star, Sue Walton. She, we have an uh, award named in her honor. And she's going to be here to present that award, Dale, and we're so excited to, to have Sue Walton as well as Anita Howard. I mean, really, we're going to have some uh, VIPs in here, and we got legacy awards and, and community service awards that we'll be giving away. We're going to give away some trophies. I mean, really, we do it up when we do a banquet. And the good thing about it is that these young ladies, man, you know, you might see them out there in their softball uniforms or their basketball or volleyball uniforms, whatever it is, and then, but they transform. You know, the, when they walk into that room, they look like models, man. They have their hair done, and of course, they uh, have on their, their, their Sunday best, and it's just a joy to look out in that room and see all those beautiful young ladies and to reward them and, and to celebrate them. I'm looking forward to it. And, and it really shows a lot of diversity from, from county to county, from East Alabama to West Central Georgia. It is a lot of good players in this area. I think Anita Howard is going to have a great a great time here. It's going to be a great impact here because, DJ, I don't think we're going to be able to hold it too long, player. <laughs> All right, real quickly now, you'll get a, a, a few <laughs> days left. 706-681-1136 or 706-681-5192 if you want to know how you can get involved. If you're looking for a quality pre-owned vehicle, come see us at Express Motors, 1210 14th Street, Phoenix City, Alabama. Or give us a call, 334-384-9101. With hundreds of vehicles to choose from. In-house financing, the right vehicle at the right price for you. We don't want all your business, just yours. Come see us, 1210 14th Street, Phoenix City, Alabama. Or go online, www.expressmotorspc.com. Attention Columbus, Fort Bidding, Phoenix City, and the surrounding areas. Sports Visions Entertainment presents the Party Bus Lifestyle. Take a trip with us. Don't worry about driving. 15, 25, 30 of your sorority sisters, fraternity brothers, family, or friends. Get to travel in luxurious lifestyle in town or out of town visits. Come travel with us and experience the exclusive luxury Party Bus Lifestyle. Call 706-681-1136 or 706-681. 681-5192. Sports Visions, brought to you by Cook Dental Care, Diverse Power, 
Crown Royal, Taylor Funeral Home, and the Hilton Garden Inn. And welcome back to today's final segment of Sports Vision Dale. I'm really excited the fact that we had Eric Anthony on here, man, and just to share some knowledge, man, because again, this guy, what he's uh, persevered for not only his kids, but other, other, other kids in the community is just phenomenal. And then that record of 60 plus kids that are on, on college scholarships right now, man, that's what it's all about. Well, you know, DJ, you know, one thing I do say about Eric, man, you know, if I had it all over again, you know, for sending my son or anybody kids, I would recommend him highly again. He coaches every play. He is a football coach on a baseball field. He does a great job. And we're going to talk about Eric a whole lot more in our magazine that's coming out in May. You know, Sports Vision, the magazine, we got another edition for you coming out in May. All right. Well, that's going to do it for all the time we have for today's show. For Dale Williams, I'm DJ Jones reminding you to keep your eye on the ball. Have a great week. Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Attention Columbus, Fort Benning, Phoenix City, and the surrounding areas. Sports Visions Entertainment presents the Party Bus Lifestyle. Take a trip with us. Don't worry about driving. 15, 25, 30 of your sorority sisters, fraternity brothers, family, or friends. Get to travel in luxurious lifestyle in town or out of town visits. Come travel with us and experience the exclusive luxury Party Bus Lifestyle. Call 706-681-1136 or 706-681-5192. Today, my dad walked me down the aisle. It seems like yesterday when he taught me how to drive. And just a few years later, he took me to college. But I remember the day my dad had a heart attack and that almost changed everything. He needed open heart surgery. Lucky for us, we had the amazing doctors at the St. Francis Heart Hospital on our side. Because of their excellent care, he's here with me today. Thank you, St. Francis. Truth be truth, the will to win will win. So intimidate your darkest fear. Revive every forgotten fantasy. Set goals you can never reach, then reach them. Count cards to fight fates that deck. And if you want to win as much as you want to live, you're ready to reign on. Hi, I'm Grace the Car as well. I almost lost my life in a car accident due to someone else's negligence. Forrest B. Johnson and Associates held the insurance companies accountable and worked timelessly on my behalf to make sure I got the compensation I deserve. You can trust Forrest B. Johnson and Associates. Results you can bank on. Call Forrest B. Johnson and Associates right now. 706-223-5380. It's time to save during the Nissan Year of the Truck and SUV event at Headquarter Nissan. Now, save $4,500 on new Rogue. Save $10,000 on all remaining 2016 Nissan Titan XDs. And get America's best truck warranty. Take on any job with Nissan trucks and SUVs from Headquarter Nissan. Yes, Columbus is a Nissan town. Now it's going to be a Titan town. $10,000 off 2016 Titan.